Welcome everyone and hello. My name is Joe, the Longevity Pro, and let's get straight to the show. All right, welcome everyone, welcome. In today's show, we're gonna be discussing methylene blue, which is becoming increasingly popular as a supplement in the longevity space, even though it's not legally allowed to be a supplement. So methylene blue, if you're unfamiliar, and I was unfamiliar with it too until just a few days ago, just a, a week or two ago. I've had clients who are either taking it or want to start taking it, and they wanted my opinion on it, and I couldn't really give my opinion. So I told them I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the research, and then I'll get back to you. And I went into the research, and there's a very interesting story here with methylene blue and its potential benefits. So what we're gonna do in today's show is we're gonna go through some studies on methylene blue and some really interesting connections to how it affects inflammation in the brain and things related to the development or worsening of cancer, okay? So very interesting show again that we have here. Let me go ahead and, and switch over to the first study that I want to discuss, which is a relatively new study published just last year, 2023, titled Methylene Blue Reduces the Serum Levels of Interleukin-6 and Inhibits STAT3 Activation in the Brain and the Skin of Lipopolysaccharide Administered Mice. So what they were trying to do in this study here is they were trying to cause inflammation. And one of the inflammatory molecules that they were looking to increase was something called interleukin-6. And interleukin-6 is connected to things like oxidative stress, to, to DNA damage, and is directly related to decreased longevity, okay? So when we talk about things like the cytokine storm that we've probably heard about as it relates to COVID, right? Interleukin-6 is one of these molecules, these cytokines, these inflammatory molecules that we want to keep an eye on because chronically high levels or overactivated interleukin-6 is a sign that there is something going on in the body that whether, you know, high levels of inflammation, potential cancer and things like that, this is a target that we want to keep an eye on. So also hear that this methylene blue is able to, re to inhibit STAT3 activation. Now let's go through really quickly what this study showed. And I want to get to this STAT3 activation and why it's important as well. So let me give some context and read here. Since methylene blue has shown therapeutic potential for multiple diseases, it has become increasingly important to investigate the mechanisms underlying the effects of methylene blue on inflammation. Using a mouse model of lipopolysaccharide-induced inflammation, we investigated the mechanisms underlying the effects of methylene blue on inflammation, obtaining the following findings. First, methylene blue administration attenuated the lipopolysaccharide-induced increases in the serum levels of interleukin-6. So methylene blue, again, like the study title showed, was reducing these levels of interleukin-6, even though the researchers were trying to cause them with this lipopolysaccharide. Now, <clears throat> these lipopolysaccharides, we've probably heard of in connection to leaky gut. Leaky gut, uh, leaky gut's a condition where your gut lining becomes damaged, and this is, was all the rage a few years back, right? And one of the reasons that we do wanna keep an eye on this leaky gut is because when we have this leaky gut, we see high levels of this interleukin-6. And we know that leaky gut is connected to a lot of autoimmune-like symptoms, a lot of immune, autoimmune conditions. And this is likely due to this interleukin-6 increase. <clears throat> now, the second finding of the study here was that methylene blue administration attenuated this LPS-induced STAT3 activation of the brain. Now, third, this STAT3 activation was also reduced in the skin. So brain and skin here. Now, let's take a look at why this is important and try to make a connection here as to why methylene blue is extremely interesting. And I am certainly not telling you to supplement with methylene blue. I just like to share what I find interesting in the newest research. And again, there's a lot of interest out there. So you might watch this video and say, oh, wait a minute, I absolutely do not, this is, this is way too experimental. I absolutely do not want to try methylene blue. It's, it's a pharmaceutical dye, and why would I put that in my body? And I would 100% understand that. I'm not taking methylene blue as of now. I'm interested in it. I'm very interested in it. And the results that we're about to continue to go over here may interest you as well. But 
again, this is, this is something that I'm personally putting on the shelf of interest and not taking action on until I personally do more research. I'll do more research. But let's continue here. So this study is titled, in the Nature's Reviews, Cancer. This study was titled, Stats in Cancer Inflammation and Immunity, a Leading Role for Stat 3. So we'll start here. Stat 3 signaling is a major intrinsic pathway for cancer inflammation owing to its frequent activation in malignant cells and key role in regulating many genes crucial for cancer inflammation in the tumor microenvironment. Now let's continue. Persistent activation of STAT3 in diverse human cancers increases proliferation, survival, angiogenesis, and metastasis. So what, it, what this is saying here is that activation of this STAT3, this persistent activation, so this chronic activation, this inability to turn off this inflammatory response in the body. In these cancers, increases proliferation, survival of the cancer, angiogenesis. So this is where the tumors, the, the cancers are starting to make connections to form new tumors and, and metastasis, of course, the spreading of the cancers. So this is not good. <laughs> We want to make sure that we are not overactivating this STAT3. It continues, STAT3 interacts with nucleofactor KB at multiple levels and is activated by several NFKB-regulated gene products, including interleukin-6. These two transcription factors regulate a multitude of genes important for STAT3 activation and cancer-promoting inflammation. Now, let's move on to a piece on methylene blue as it relates to memory, because we were just looking at the effects of methylene blue on brain inflammation activity, that's good to know about how this methylene blue affects inflammation in the brain of mice. But what does that mean for humans? So let's take a look at this here. And this is from Alzheimer's News Today. They were breaking down a study, which I could just pull up that study and take a look at. You know what? Actually, let me do that. I mean, instead of reading some, someone, see this, <laughs> I like to go through the studies with you guys, okay? And so we can actually discuss what these results are and, you know, these, these, these are very confusing terms a lot of the times. And we have to simplify things so that we understand them. Otherwise, we just have to go off what other people are telling us studies show. And I don't like to just listen to whatever people tell me to put in my body. I need to know that this is true for myself. And that's why I like to actually have these type of shows where, you know, we're going through the studies together. And I try to make it make as much sense as I can. So this was an interesting study here that looked at the effects of methylene blue administration on, on humans and the effects that it has on the brain. And the participants here, this was a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial involving 26 subjects between the ages of 22 and 62. MRIs were performed to look at the effects that this methylene blue administration has on, on the brain so we could actually look at it. And also, subjects were put through various tests, and they were looking at the results of these tests in the placebo group and the methylene blue, methylene blue group to see who performed better on these cognitive tasks, then comparing these results with the MRIs and putting the puzzle pieces together. So a really interesting study. Now let's take a look at it. So the results show here that administration of methylene blue increased response in the bilateral insular cortex during a psychomotor vigilance task and functional MRI imaging response during short-term memory task involving the prefrontal, parietal, and occipital cortex. Methylene blue was also associated with a 7% increase in correct responses during memory retrieval. So really interesting how we actually have this shown activity in an MRI and we can compare that and we could see, wait a minute, these subjects also had a 7% increase in correct responses during memory retrieval. So now we can start to make connections saying, hey, we know in mouse models that methylene blue can reduce this interleukin-6 in the brains of mice. And now we top that on with 
Human studies showing that, wait a minute, methylene blue also actually improved markers of memory. So we can kind of start to stack the odds in the favor of methylene blue having positive effects here and something that maybe we should reconsider. Now, again, I'm somebody who looks at things from more of the natural side, but sometimes it's important to take a step back and remember that all that really matters is if something works. Yes, of course, I want to partake in uh, preventative health care and I want to be proactive about my health and prevent myself from ever having to take medications and being sick. And that's one of the reasons I have a, a, such a robust supplement protocol and am interested in things like methylene blue. But sometimes we have to just remember that it doesn't matter. If it works, it works. And methylene blue has a good history of use and success with a variety of things. So when we start to actually look at it and look at what it's doing in reducing these markers of interleukin-6, uh, reducing this act activation of the STAT3, with STAT3 being related to inflammation and inflammatory-related cancers and uh, proliferation, and metastasis, all these different concerns, maybe it's time to just take a step back and say, wait a minute, who cares if it's natural? Who cares if it's this? Who cares if it's that? Does it work? And sometimes we just have to do that. I'm not quite there yet with methylene blue. I'm going to continue to do some more research because, again, I just wanted to come make a video because I got excited after looking at the research. And it's interesting to see how different things cycle in and out of popularity and how something that like methylene blue that's been used for so long is increasing in popularity again. And I'm really interested to see what direction this takes and is this going to be something that just fades out or is this going to be something that becomes kind of this new longevity target this new longevity drug we had the rapamycin and the, met the metformin and all these things being used for longevity i wonder if this methylene blue is gonna creep its way into that conversation in the pharmaceutical realm but you guys let me know what you think if you've tried methylene blue let me know in the comment section let me know the results that you've had. I know it's hard to tell, right? We're not measuring our interleukin-6. We're not measuring the stat activation when we're taking supplements and things of that nature. But if you've used it, let me know in the comments section the results that you've had, if any, that are noticeable. Have you, know, have you, have you found improved memory? Have you found improved cognitive function? Do you, um, you know, did you take it during times of infection? I know it's been used, for example, for, since I was mentioning with the interleukin-6 connection with this cytokine storm. It's been used for COVID and things like that and shown potential there. So you guys let me know, click like on this video, help get it into the YouTube algorithm. I like going through these studies with you guys and talking, talking through it together and learning together. So if you appreciate that, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that here and take care. We'll talk soon guys. Peace.